also mandatory. Bahakaiba. Eco cash and swipe transactions. Bahakaiba. Internet shutdown and abductions. My phones, not forgetting them. So I shall leave the highest score. You kill at every corner, but let it turn out to wake up in the same dollar. Ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, welcome to the week with me, Comrade Fatso. And it's been a crazy week where Chiwenga got his wife arrested, Tabo Mbeki flew in with Christmas presents for Edi and Chamisa, and the Hurumend said Futseke to Chief Ndiweni. This is our last episode for the season before we have to go and seek asylum in Nairobi. So we promise to make it a Christmas special. What better Xmas present to give to your soon-to-be ex-wife than a five-night stay at Remand Prison? Breakfast not included. Yes, General Chiwenga 2.0 is determined to keep making headlines after flying in from China. I mean, who needs to go to divorce court if you are the mastermind of the coup, not a coup? Nah, you just charge her with externalization, fraud, money laundering, buying Jonathan Moyo's book. Okay, not that one. And attempted murder for good measure. Because when our VPs divorce, they do it guerrilla style. In a that Chimurenga vibe about it. I've always thought that the general's wife's mission was obvious from the start because she wanted to marry Chiwenga. Rumors are abounding that she poisoned him and herself, but then she had the antidote and only took it herself. And that she went to see him Kuchpatara and then removed his life support. And that she is the one holding all of the nation's mazoe so that we starve in this important festive period. <sighs> Okay, maybe, maybe not that last one, but uh, hey, Anya Yemazoega, and it was. With all these allegations flying at Mary Chiwenga, I find it interesting that the general is trying to seize properties in South Africa that were allegedly bought by Mary with externalized funds. Are these not the profits of crime, comrades? We also appreciate that this is Zanu PF's way of celebrating 16 days against gender-based violence by locking up Mary for 16 days. Hey, 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 what a sense of humor. The ZANU-PF conference just ended. And you know what that always means? Policies? Progress? No. Some hot, hot revolutionary fashion was on show. We give you our best dressed kadas from the ZANU-PF conference. Who needs the A-list when you have the P-list? You know you've gone full bob when everyone is wearing your face. We had to ask, which Zimbabwe bird this is though? The Zimbabwe bird that's just seen the price of super in the shops? Ah! Even my cousins were there, hey bro? Mushy. Mushy steric. And then there was... Hey, who put him in there? Right, comrades, welcome to Zep Team Building 2019. Mm. Now, we've gone through our weaknesses, opportunities, threats, 
Let's think of our strengths. Mm. Let's think about it. Hey, at Zesta HQ, they've got what? Solar power. Mm. Hey? At Zinwa HQ, they've got what? Borehole. Borehole, yes. And at Zek HQ, what do we have? Corruption. Exactly. Corruption. Corruption is everywhere. We've got it everywhere here. So now, moving forward towards 2020, mm. yeah? things are tough. Yeah, yeah. We're getting to the Christmas period. Things are tough. Yeah? Yeah. Kuna petur, kuna cash, kuna zesa. So, we need to give a little Christmas present. At Zek, we need to give a little Christmas present to the people of Zimbabwe, just to distract them a little bit, so they don't, you know, cause some commotion. Yeah. So, let's think outside the box, guys. Yeah? You know what I was thinking? Mm. Maybe ruffling in the belly chief's feathers, but but the boy is already doing that. That's yeah. So how about if you target land barons, mm -hmm. but not the top tier? No, not the top. Not yeah, never the top. Climbing up the tree. Never, never. No. Just to, because that's us up to mm. my lower levels. Good. Yeah, my low hanging fruit. Mm. Good idea. Go for it. In I think we we need to do a giveaway. Mm -hmm. I think we have yes. a generous. Christmas spirit. Right. We've got mm. so much. Yes. Auntie. And you know, things are tough, companies are going broke, mm. they are in debt. Mm. Turns out they've not been paying bills for several years. Mm -hmm. Every day we are just being swept off our feet by oh, an swept. just an absence mm. of Zimbabwean brands. Mm. Auntie girl. Mm. And you know, children are going to school hungry, mm -hmm. parents go to work hungry, mm. people are going to church hungry. Mm. It's, it's not right. You're going to a few queue, you're hungry. Mm. It's mm. not right. Mm. So, and I think that we must do a hamper. Yes. A hamper. Yeah. Yeah. Top of one. Yeah. Completely complimentary. Mm. Auntie. Yes. Gratuit, as the French would say. Gratuit, yes. <laughs> yeah. I think we know every single Zimbabwe to out of our general spirit. A fool. Of Mazoe orange crush. Yeah. Okay. Diluted. Yeah. yeah, of course. One is to six, Rachel Queen. Yeah, yeah, true. Not too much. Not too much. Because we're not also sugar. Yeah. And you know, we have a man made hunger situation. Some of these people are not really angry. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. sure, sure. Yeah. Don't want to give them too much energy, also, yeah. you know. So, yeah. Yeah. so you Good. know, say mm. goodbye to the brand. Usher in the new year with new things. Mm. With nothing. Yes, yes, yes. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're getting there. Whoa, more ideas outside the box. Arrest the solar tenderpreneur. We've done that, comrade. He's still in court. Oh, yeah. Come on, outside are the box. Are they, are they the minister. Hey, Shandi. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, oh. All right. A government official's wife. Yeah. Good idea, good idea. Hey, eh? 16 years. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hey. No, the gender equality. Hey. Huh? Yes, done it. Yes. Don't do no, it. Have a Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Just when you thought all was lost in Zimbabwe, Tabo, I have done dialogue before, Becky, flew into the country for a chit chat with Edie and Nelson. We are quite sure they weren't just catching up about the Miss Universe pageant and if Tendai the Beast Mutawarira can now revert to being a Zimbabwean now that he has retired. No, we think they are talking dialogue and not the Brian Mteki Obed Gutu meet at a bottle store dialogue. No, we mean dialogue, dialogue. Well, we have a word of advice for you, Comrade Mbeki. Nothing for us without us. Any dialogue must be broad-based and inclusive. It must include the citizens, the trade unions, the vendors, the women, the youthies, the rural folk, even us, the comedians. We must have the last laugh. Car. Dialogue must not be about power, but about how we can build a Zimbabwe that works for all. So Comrade Mbeki, we hope you're planning to meet with the newly formed National Convergence Platform, created by citizens to give us a voice in dialogue negotiations. Jonathan Flip Flop Moyo launched his long-anticipated book, Excelgate, this week. Except he didn't, because rowdy ZANU-PF youths stormed the launch at Sape's Trust. Because we are ZANU-PF and we will fight books. Tine education. Zanu kind of feels like that teenager who really doesn't want his O-level results to come out because he cheated at maths. Too much addition. So, if we add up Uzumba Maramba Fungwe and Chiredzi and we minus Harare equals victory. What do you do to a pesky chief who makes too much noise? Strip him! Okay, no, not strip strip, but nearly. That's what our Hurumend has done to the unpatriotic Chief Ndiweni, who spoke out against government too often. 
They stripped him of his chieftainship and even are trying to strip him of his car and his Tuma chief clothing. Ndo Inonzi, government mischief. We know that the country is going through so much at the moment in a Christmas period that's supposed to be merry. There are fuel queues, cash crisis, and Winky D hasn't even given us Kasonke December yet. So why not support the only functioning industry in Zimbabwe at the moment? The comedy industry. The funniest comedy show of the year is happening this month by our very own King Kandoro. Inonzi Conspiracy Theories happening at Reps Theatre on Saturday, 27th December. We are giving you, our week viewers, a special Christmas box by giving away two double tickets to see the show. All you have to do is tell us in the comment section on Facebook or YouTube the craziest reason why you need to see the show. And the craziest answer will win. What better way to close our final show of the season with a prayer! No, not with a prayer, man, bloody Christians. No, we close our season with an inspirational song. There is a fire new song, Rise Like Eagles, featuring Amara Brown, Nati O, Gatsby Warrior, and more. A song of hope and inspiration in these tough times in Zimbabwe. Ability extension. Tell them, pull up my selector. You must say, put ah, It's a good song, I like it. Thanks for joining us on the week. Follow Magama TV on social media. I've been Comrade Fatso. You have been the people. This has been the week. No Kumro Christmas box, please. And food check. Did, did you get the Christmas box bit? One day we will shine so bright, my people, my people.